a little update from the road. Took a hiatus. Dan, it's called an airplane. Yes, I did not ride my bike all the way to Orcas Island, but I went out there for uh, to the San Juans for a wedding to watch Harry and Hannah get married, which is a beautiful ceremony. And then nice to take a little break from being on the saddle. And uh, it was cool because I also went up to Whistler, checked in with kind of just like what felt like a desert island now. It was just a place that I used to, you know, inhabit and love so much. But it's funny because it seemed like so many people had left, but checking in with all the people that I used to hang out with and Mace and Deanne and Malone and Stan and Tej, all the, you know, just like all the boys that were there, Lexi and, uh, man, so surreal to see all you guys. And then just think about like how far life has come and how different <laughs> it is now. It feels like the, sh the, the skin of an athlete has been shed, as it were. Um, and then, yeah, I got back to the bike, Boston, and then decided to do New England, which was super cool. Just seeing uh, seeing the Red Sox Stadium and then getting a cannoli. Thanks for the tip, Kevy. And then uh, just cruised up to Maine, and it was funny because I'm driving up through Maine. The only real things that are notable, I guess, that happened was the feeling that I was going to hit the end of my trip. And then once I hit the end of Maine, I'm going home. I'm like eventually like turning back whether I don't know how long it's gonna take but and I'm literally driving up the freeway and I feel this feeling and I said I say to myself what is that feeling it feels like not in the context of America but it feels like freedom and as I do it I stand up on my bike and literally a bald eagle flew over my head 50 to 100 feet over the road which is just the most surreal feeling ever and then, uh, yeah, checked out Acadia National Park. Went for a trail run, back out of the land of poisonous snakes. And then uh, camped up in the middle of nowhere in Maine. The worst mosquitoes I've ever had in my life. So bad that I had, uh, I had my Haven hammock bivy set up. And I had full regalia, full denim here. Getting into my tent, there were so many mosquitoes on me, I had like 40 get inside and I finally just gave up and woke into the morning to like a blood spattered mattress it's just pretty gnarly but uh got out of there went to Bangor Maine and then looped it over through New Hampshire got rained out in Mount Washington and I was going to see go see Friedel and the fam the maple syrup conglomerate and then made it there the next day which was just blown away of my whole ski career never seeing really Vermont I've been to Mad River Glen once but Loop through there and then uh, kind of dodged the rain and uh, got to see also Jason Tross, legend. So good to see him. Um, yeah, and then that was kind of it. And then it's kind of surreal because I looped back to New York City and got to see, you know, Max and Arno and Vera and everybody. And uh, yeah, just surreal to be back here and have New York City be familiar. And I don't know, it's interesting. We'll see like, what happens I think the only real thing for me on this is it just feels like a lot of commonality as a human being being on the road and just feeling all the feels I don't know it's uh, beautiful love it here <laughs> anyway gonna take off got another wedding uh, so going to Santa Fe but then I'm gonna loop uh, loop back on the bike all the way across America so I don't know hit the Great Lakes and beyond and I don't know. Talk to you in a couple weeks.